welcome one and all whoever may be watching this this will be part nine of uh, paper lily chapter one let's go so in the last video i mostly just explored this area we found a couple of valves a couple of fuses uh, and then there are some rooms on the left and the right which kind of make no sense to me i'm assuming they're some kind of puzzle situation uh, so we have to like drain this area and then also get the elevator working. So just give me a hot second. Okay, um, I just pulled up a walkthrough because I was like, just to save, um, you know, having to like run around and do all the things all over again. Let's just try to keep this short and simple. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Ah, I spot a shiny over there. A shiny? You know, a useful item. How do you know it will be useful? Might need to push some boxes around to get to it though. Arrange the boxes. Yeah, go for it, Lacey. Ah, okay. Um, oh yeah, okay, I was like, surely we just come up here and push these ones, but um, it's not that simple. Oh, I just stuffed it up big time by doing that. Yeah, okay, I need to redo this. I did a thing! Oh, we got the star! Nice! Oh, okay, so I just start from up here. I guess let's just see if there's anything else around. Uh, yeah, read a passage. Go for it. All of the pages are blank. Oh. That's a bit sad. A purple book. Yes. All of its pages are blank, but you can see a faint outline of some letters. Have all these books been erased somehow? Someone didn't want to leave any traces here. I agree. Okay, they're all blank. All right, cool. So we've got um, three out of four. Let me just figure out where the fourth one is. All right, apparently there's a key in here somewhere. Actually, there's a key in the very back. Excellent, I'm assuming that will open the door to get us the other valve, maybe. Just savey, save, save. Um, I think we need to head back the way we came. Actually, hold on. So I'm just going to the dungeons again, real quick. valve handle in the drawer far out I interacted with that desk just the wrong way I guess all right at least we've got all of the valve handles 
We need to go back to the lab, apparently. Okay. Pick this mess up. Oh, yeah, we got another fuse. Excellent. That should do the trick for us, I think. A well, rotate the lever. We got a rune. Hey, rune. Rune, I finally got you a rune. <laughs> Where are you? Okay, so we've got all of the fuses. I'm assuming all of the, the um, sorry, we've got all the levers and I'm assuming all of the fuses, hopefully. So we can head on back now. I'm assuming we might have to dodge whatever the creature was that was oops, standing by the door. Oh no, it's gone. Is it? No, okay, it's completely gone. Ooh. Why are you introducing a new thing and not actually doing anything with it? I was prepared to be sneaking around this entire facility. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna have to work this one out. Okay, do you think the elevator works now? So we've got that, and now we need to do this whole fuse situation, or the draining situation, whatever this is. Um, oh yeah, I'm sorry, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. So we need the pentagon, pentagonal. Um, this one. Do nothing for the moment. Uh, we need a, oh yeah, sorry. I think this was the star. How am I supposed to know what to do with these? Okay, so all of those are in place. The question is, how am I supposed to be turning these? I don't think the instructions up here said anything. The correct fuse must first be in place. Rotate all four valve handles. Okay. Um, well, was that to flood, flood the place though? Let's just do it, I guess. sounded pretty big. Let's check the water level. So it sounds like we have to check the water level first. Let's just do some sneaking in case our friend is around. Nope, we're all good. All right. Oh yeah, look, freedom is ours. Let's just casually walk down the stairs into the darkness. Let's do it. elevator working so what does that do for us so we can sort of travel 
everywhere. Maybe we take that to get further down, as far down as we can go. Ah, okay, I see. The stairs go further down, but it's completely flooded. Okay, so we need to take the elevator. No worries. Just having a little look-sees around. A mailbox, it's empty. A house? Why is there a house so deep underground? Oh, maybe someone lives here. But if there's an entrance to a house down here, maybe there's also an exit on the other side. Don't you think? Well, no way to go but forwards. But, um, hmm. We're gonna like run into some angry ghost, aren't we? So a nice artwork. I'm keeping mine on. Oh, uh, that's fair. Guest book, there's no signatures. It's locked. The painting's gonna come alive. Hang on a sec. Over here. Sigh leading us to our death. This place is strange. What tipped you off? The hallway filled with creepy faces? No. No? Well, I mean, yes, but... Don't you feel like this place is strangely cosy? It's almost like it's decorated with care. Now it's cozy. What are you doing? We can properly relax for a while. It feels like a bad idea to relax in someone else's home. If we're quiet enough, they'll never know. Besides, aren't you tired? Yes. We deserve a break anyway. Oh, sigh. You're right that this place has a creepy but cute vibe to it. The fireplace is cute. The fire is nice. That's a weird thing to say. Are you into burning things? What? No! I just meant that it feels peaceful here. Yeah. I'm not very good at conversations. You're fine. So, what's got you doing deadly rituals? Huh? Well, normally people who come here either have nothing to lose in their life anymore, or they're just plain dumb and reckless. Which one are you? Dumb, probably. Hmm. So, what's your deal? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. But I'll just annoy you until you do. Or until you ditch me. Doesn't make sense to ditch you yet. Yes? Alright. Alright. I suppose I can tell you, but it's going to get long. I have nothing better to do. How should I put this? There's something very wrong with me. But it sounds ridiculous when I say it out loud. I'm all ears. It's possible I may be possessed. No, I'm definitely either possessed or cursed. It's been like this since I was little. Back then, I used to think I had a black cloud that just follows me everywhere. It makes people run away from me. It makes them hate me. They always have this terrifying look when they look at me. Sometimes it turns into hatred or anger. With animals, it's even worse. Dogs will bark at me and I can't even get close enough to pet a cat. 
or today I tried buying something at the store and failed horribly. I hate that I can't even do something as simple as that. It's like just being around me makes people tense and aggressive. But I know for a fact that it wasn't always like this. I have memories of my childhood where things were fine. Something must have changed at some point. And then everyone suddenly started acting differently with me. For a really long time, I thought it was my fault. I thought that maybe I'm just broken and different. I thought I did something wrong. I thought people had a reason to hate me so much. I know better now, but that doesn't change how it feels. This thing inside me, whatever it is, it's isolating me from everyone. Even my parents hate being around me. They leave the house for weeks at a time and make excuses if I ask to come along. My brother is the only one who's there for me every time. And I know how hard it is for him. But somehow he never falters. Without him, I... I've been trying to get better for so long. So this ritual is, well, it's my last hope. If I fail to find answers, then I'll probably give up on everything. I can't bear to live like this anymore. Still, you should know about this. You've been around me, don't you feel it? Huh. Let me see. Yeah, you're right. You've got this weird, ominous aura. Feels dangerous. Doesn't bother me. Really? Nah, I guess I felt worse. That doesn't make any sense. There must be something wrong with you. Is this person not human? Ha, says the possessed girl. Rune said possessions aren't a thing, so it might be a curse. But you don't buy it. So what, you came here to get exercised? I've tried that already. I wouldn't have come here unless I exhausted my possibilities beforehand. Smart. No dice then. Nothing. That sucks. Have you tried throwing table salt at yourself? I hear it wards off demons. It might get rid of your curse, too. Very funny. You seem to know quite a lot about this place and the rituals. Uh, yeah, I did a lot of these rituals to kill time. What? I'm surprised you're not dead yet. You know what they say, idiots don't die. I don't think anybody says that. <laughs> Maybe you could start saying it then. So, is your curse the reason you're trying to find the lighthouse? Yes, I was told there's someone there who can help guide me. Did you hear that? Yes. Guests? But not invited. I'm confused. Uh-oh. Fire? Fire! Make it stop. Hmm, a smell. Lilith? No. No, no. No, 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 no. Not you again. Get out. 
Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Whoa. Get out. Oh dear. Ah, uh, okay, nice dream. All right, this might end up being a long video. I can't obviously stop it until it's I, until I get a save point, so. All right, I'm really screwed now. Even if I wake up from here, what can I even do? Let's see. A monster just put me in a cage and will probably eat me or something. Even so, it's not like I can stay here. This place is useless. Let's find the exit and see what happens. Alright, let's just check out this door again. Ooh. Still doesn't open, no worries. Uh, oh, we've got three doors now. Oh, nice. Hello, everyone. Murderer. There she is. That's her? She's so cursed that the bird dropped dead. If she can make a bird die, I wonder what she could do to people. What a freak. Hey, you killed that poor bird. N no It flew into the window next to your seat. But I didn't. It died because of you. This is your fault. Am I eating the bird? This isn't my fault. I can't believe you're still acting innocent. You disgust me. You cause nothing but ruin everywhere you go. I hear I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I don't do it on purpose. I didn't do anything. Maybe you should do something. Huh? To make it up to us. Why don't you take responsibility for messing up everything? Huh? How? Hmm. Make her eat it. Yeah, eat the bird. What? You heard them. Eat it, witch. If you eat it, maybe we'll forgive you. Eat the bird, murderer. Can I just punch them in the face? Is that also an option? This isn't real. Do I really have to do this? Alright, apparently we've got to do this, Lacey. Will this get them to stop? Well, no. Of course it won't. Oh, I feel sick. She actually did it. She's insane. She's such a freak. <laughs> it's all bloody now. <laughs> Oh, okay, well, we've got another red thing for whatever that's worth. Lacey doesn't have a face anymore. A strong force prevents you from entering the wardrobe. Push through it. Yes. Unless there was something else I was supposed to do, in which case... Whoops! Out of my way! Oh, there's a crow. I'm out of my cage. He's still trapped though. Oh, we're not leaving him. Oh, all my items are gone? Without that doorknob, I can't go back home. Ah, uh, I wonder if this is where we're gonna have to be sneaking around everywhere. How cruel. Yes. Is it just a regular pet? 
All right, this shall be where I end this video. Sorry, it could possibly be a longer one, but that's just how this rolls.